and we get to part 6 of our course. If you missed the other parts, make sure to check the description for the links. We've been exploring Plotly Express and how to add some customization to it. If you want something more challenging than Plotly Express and you kind of know your way around graph objects already, maybe you want to check out the link to my new course in the description. I teach you how to build a web-based dashboard from scratch with Plotly and Dash. It's really cool and you can actually use the template for that dashboard to any of your other projects that you might have. So this leads us to Plotly graph objects. And Plotly Express calculates a bunch of different things in the background, so you just have to specify a few attributes to get a nice chart. But with Plotly graph objects, and I, I guarantee that you're going to need it in, in the future, um, you have much more power because you build the chart from the ground up. And although it may sound a bit more difficult, I promise you that it's, it's much more um, custom-made and you can really tweak every aspect of the chart to match the, the style of your dashboard. So that's really cool. One word of advice uh, before you start getting crazy with, uh, with the code. It can be overwhelming if you don't know what you want. So I always try to make a drawing of the dashboard that I want to build before I start um, getting crazy with the borders and padding and colors. So it's always nice to, to know what you want before you start building it. If you want to know more about graph objects, just visit this link. Um, it has uh, some description about, like I said before, this the, their website is very well documented. And if you want to spend some time reading all about it, it really explains when to use one or the other. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick with the code. I'm just going to import graph objects and we usually import it as go so I'm gonna run this cell and I'm gonna use the same data frame that we used before here it is And the way you create a um, chart with graph objects is very similar. You start by um, defining a, a figure. And it's not like we did before. So now we're going to have to call this one. And if you want some details about it, you also have some documentation. If you're using Jupyter Notebooks, you can read about it. But I'm just going to go forward. And so the difference is uh, everything is going to happen inside this figure object. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a lot of spaces here. So everything is very easy to read. And so you have the first argument, which is data. And this figure is going to need some data. So this data is going to be a list. We're going to build a bar chart and we're going to compare two continents. So I'm going to have two bars. And the way you add one of the bars, so one of the traces, is go bar. So instead of px, you use go graph objects. The name of this series is going to be Asia. The X is going to be the data frame with um, Asia and year. And the Y is going to be Asia population. And so actually let's just keep one and let's see if, let's see what this is showing. So we can also get a bar chart with graph objects. 
but this is very easy so let's add another one and the way you add it is so we add another go bar and so we add the continent Europe let's see okay so now we have a chart with two bars in the next video we're going to start customizing a graph made with graph objects and to do that we're going to simply update the figure layout don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next part